Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Scrap Mechanics. Now, as you can see, we're suffering from frame rate issue. That's because there's too much scrap over here. Um, I basically built a bus, and I like to share this, which is over here. But I hated the body, so I just taken it out and uh, smashed it up. Like it's everywhere, like these seats and stuff, and they're causing tons of lag. So how about I clean them up, and I'll bring you back, and I'll show you how these chassis work. Yeah, see you in a bit. All right. I have all the scrap cleaned, cleaned, cleared out, and we have this bus chassis. Looking fancy with this color. Right, so let's see what we can do. So this is a fairly um, standard looking past chassis. Uh, let's go suspensions. Uh, I'm not using the scrap mechanic suspension obviously because they're crap. Like scrap. Get it? No? Okay. Um, so I'm using bearing suspensions that I always use because they're just more stable and they can hold more weight and not going flatten out on the first minute. Anyway, so this is um, some sort of mechanic suspension systems, and it has a feature that buses are usually having it, which is the adjustment when the bus is in a stop. So let's see in action, shall we? So basically just press this. As you can see, the chassis first lowered itself and then it tilts towards the door side. So, you know, the elder people and uh, mm, you know, the disabled people that can get on with their wheelchair and stuff. After you're done, just Click that switch again, and you're ready to go. Ouch. So anyway. So yeah, that that's the bus chassis and its functionality. It looks quite cool from the top, isn't it? Yeah. So the design of this one is uh, fairly weird. It is actually designed for off-road, so that's why it has a really high clearance under it. And uh, it, it can be adjusted f uh, e even higher to accomplish some more aggressive terrain, like something like that, maybe. But it is sad to do terrains because you can see the tail hunt I don't know where they start what is it called but I will call it that it's fairly high so uh, we can't have a third door here obviously and the front hunt is pretty high either so I'm not sure where this bus can even get qualified as a LF or low floor but yeah, you can do off roads. Let's see that again. So this thing can still turn and drive even when that's like that. Uh perhaps not. And driver obviously can control it as well. That's so mean. Okay. Ouch. So that basically doubles as a um Station lock as well. Station lock, station brake, which are quite common in on buses in Europe. So when it's doing that, it just brake itself, and the bus can't go anywhere. And yeah, as you can see, this is a two axle bus because. A third axle requires a additional controller 
which means there's more complicated things we have to do to make it work. But this is fine. So we will, we will do some of more complicated chassis another time. But for today, how about we um, put a body on this thing? Yeah, let's do that. So let's make some block choices. I want to use glass blocks just because those glass looks um, stupid. Yeah, that looks stupid. I can say that. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking concrete blocks. Maybe and glass. By the way, these chassis are all made out of super light material so that it can um, house the super light body if it does only use one engine and it carries not that many passengers. But this configuration is a full configuration with high power dual engine. So we're going to put a double decker body on this thing, shall we? Yeah, that sounds cool. But there's issue with this chassis and double decker. That is the the back end, basically this area, is not usable with double decker whatsoever. So what I'm thinking is a um, uh, tri door double decker. So basically, what you have is a staircase up here to the second floor or the second level as well. And for the floor cho choice, yeah, floor choice. I think I'll go with wood. Fairly standard material. Yeah, wood is fine. Um, yeah, I'll start a building. So that'll be the landing landing platform when you just get on. And yeah, stair up. Oh, by the way, this driver's seat is sinking. It's usually sitting or something, but sink in this time so that's a thing um, let's see I will I will get a basic floor layout first before I cut this clip that looks okay let me just quickly um, reset the thing okay that's cool uh, I think I can have floor that is as wide as this. That's something okay to do, I think. And since we're making a double decker, I think we should have a relatively low floor within the bus to accomplish that. So... Uh, I think our floor are free to come out here. This side also skip one, like so. And like that. Uh, yeah. And let's go here. That's a little bit funky though. Mm. Okay, that's right. That's right. Like that. That's okay. That's okay, right? Yeah, it looks fine. To me, at least. Oh, that's ridiculously high. I 
I would have the thing cut off here. So basically, driver will have his own cabin-like thing, and there'll be no floor under that. Basically, if that chassis is like that high, I'm I'm going to think this bus is from the 70s, because that's how they used to make buses. They don't do that anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm putting a floor on the right hand side of the driver. And we'll make the whole shell out of concrete. Or the outer body. Let me just... Get it up a little bit. And uh, put in more of this. Mm. Shall we like that? Is it, is it low enough? Yeah, I, I think for the front hand. Is fine. And let's go beyond the front bumper. Then putting our front panel. Looks cool. Uh, they don't have the door structures like something like that. I have some more wood here just to decorate it. That looks very cozy. Oh, it's throw me out. How rude. So let's have more of this. Okay, looking cool. Let's fill that off. It's sort of hard to deal with when you're building a um, double decker cabin. Cabin? No. A double decker bus body when using a driver's seat because it always troubles you. And I can't. Oh! Hello! That almost feel like the Elytra launcher in Minecraft. Okay. That's cool, I guess. And, uh... That is that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to have the stair on the left-hand side. It's not a very common design, but... It is what it is. And I like it a lot. So that's happening. Remove that lift so I can see how high is this thing. But it's another issue though, you'll be quite high nonetheless. Even is a mm, have to think about that. The landing floor will be there for sure. And I uh, have to place a marker here, just to see where I'm going. I think I need one more. Do I? Uh... Oh, not really, I don't think so. Or add it in if we need it. But it's another thing right now. I know I'll lower the chassis, see how low that would be. Uh. Okay, that isn't too bad. What do you think? No, it's definitely one two out. So these are going. Um, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, I, w I, w I would say that's pretty good. 
Solve the back panel is going in like so. Um, hmm. Ouch. That's stupid. Okay. Uh, I'll put in a dichro board. I will have an open end, just like the new Roadmaster in London. I mean, the old Roadmaster are open ended, but what I mean is this is a modern bus. And that thought is five wide and that's okay. And I'm going to build up this panel. Cool, that's cool looking. Now is a question. Do I want mm. I think this actually makes a good standing spice. Not quite sure though. Mike the staircase first, then I will. Uh, uh, like that. We'll probably have a window like how it is on the Roadmaster. Because I quite like Roadmaster, if you can't tell. So. That's a four wide window and we're just going up like that. So Yeah, let me keep going. That looks pretty cool. I have panels like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh, maybe I'll have that, 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 and that. That looks pretty good. And the wooden panel, of course, to make it um, look more elegant. I hope so, at least. And that's it. And now need to uh, figure out where the second floor needs to be. I mean, I can just go up to 100 blocks tall, and that's not how it works. So, yeah. Uh, I'll put in this, put in that. Some of those uh, walls. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. No, let me in. Is it too tall? Up there? Or is it okay? I'm not quite sure. Uh, what, what did I make my interior walls out of? I sort of uh Oh there's a wood panel everywhere. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. But this is ridiculous. Only three white? Like what? Uh Maybe I'll push the staircase forward, maybe I will not. I think I will. Anyway, I think I'll get a staircase up to the second floor done and be back with you again. Alright guys, I think I did something. 
I did this. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is the first bus based on the new chassis systems. As you can see, it is a uh, it's tilting mode. I can roll on and roll off. Uh, but let's talk, uh, take a tour out of this thing from the outside. I gonna always say very um aggressive coloring. You see those lime green and uh, white color, and a uh, you know a. Um, Quite fancy looking window at the back. That's from the Roadmaster or the new Roadmaster in London. And as you can clearly see, it's a double decker bus. And it's two XO, tri doors, and two decks, I guess. So let's get in front of the middle door. I don't have any interior or doors put in yet. But the bus is running now. Let me just adjust the engine settings because it's not really heavy. And there are maximum. Okay. So, uh, how about we put in some interiors together? So, let's get some chairs going. Like, no, not like that. Maybe I can do that. And then we need a bar here. So uh, if you walk down here, I can just go turn right and stuff. So that's a seat. We have a wheelchair and another wheelchair space right here. So let me just mark that out. By doing that, and the second one. Wow, that looks horrible. The second one might be like that. Yeah, sure. And you know, we get a uh, handle thingy next to the door. I don't think we can put seats up here though. It's just a thing. Because it is quite short. And you know in scrap mechanics when you get in a seat, you might be stuck in the ceiling when you get out. So I mean that's a high capacity bus. More people standing is a good thing. And for these two spices, people can stand in here if there's no wheelchair using them. That's a good thing. And this bus is boarding from any door. At least I think you should use that policy. Because there's three doors. If everybody boards on the first door, then there's no point. So, how about let's go there, upstairs. Oh, voila. That's a big space, isn't it? Yeah, let's put in some seats, shall we? Uh, do you reckon that's okay? Maybe. Might even put seats there. Yeah. And of course, uh, on the stairs area, we we'll have to avoid chairs or seats. We want to call them. Uh, no, that one doesn't go there. That one should go there. I hope I can walk in the middle of those seats. Otherwise, we'll be quite annoyed. Yeah, I don't think there's be a problem. So let me get some of these in, some of those. Ah, no, not these two. That's a lot of seats, by the way. In case you didn't notice that. Ah, uh, no, I 
can't really go back there now. Shall I? No, I think I'll dedicate that as a bucket place or for large luggage. So how many seats in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 30, uh, okay, brain fart, oh, 36, yeah, that's it, 38, 40, 48 seats, alright. It's not a lot by the capacity of this bus, but I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. Let's race after suspension, shall we? Uh, look at that. So, as I described earlier, this chassis has these functionalities of um, off-roading. So, shall we try some of that? But before we do that, I shall change the chassis or, or even the suspension settings a little bit. I think we should put it all into 90 instead of 75. That will make it a little bit higher on the suspension side. When I close this, you will see. Yep, basically the whole vehicle gone up a little bit, and that is not sticking out anymore. It's flat, those red axle thing. And now if I enter into station mode, it's a little bit higher than uh, usual, but it was still doable with that, so I'm quite happy. I'll take you to a drive. Now, let's go, shall we? Woohoo. Actually, actually, I will do this. Because you can't see anything. Uh, oh, snap. We get stuck just right out of station. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Basically, what happened is the chassis itself plumped into that, and because it's too heavy, so the engines not be able to get it out of there. So let's fix this by... Actually, shall we go that way? Yeah, I think that way looks a little bit better. That that's how he uh, initially set up. Looks quite cool, right? Let's go. You can hear those engines struggling a lot to drive this thing. Now I pick up speed now. But I think for a double decker bus, come with a uh, suspension adjustment system. This thing has a really good level of off roading. And this is definitely suitable for some suburban bus which go into countryside but need to carry a lot of people or people from one of the village when they go out somewhere and they want to rent a bus it definitely works however I'm not going to make a door today simply because a door is quite complicated and uh, we're running out of time in the episode so Let's seal it from outside. Oh, what happened with that? I 
Okay. But, anyway. Let's see moving. It's quite slow, but it's just something. And whenever you need to make a stop, and then some people who are less able to walk want to get chong, just do this. Which, in my opinion, is quite cool. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I want to see my face. Can I see my face, please? No. Okay. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.